First up in today's roundup of cybersecurity tech news, something I've never seen before. A TV station's live broadcast has been hacked, Mr. Robot style. You know what I'm on about. The F Society videos consisting of a dude in a funky mask with a voice changer. Those videos which themselves are of course a reference to the archetypal anonymous video. A format which has become a bit of a tradition. It goes back years. Well, just a few days ago, this format entered the real world when Iran's national TV station had their web stream hijacked by a hacktivist organization. They quite literally interrupted normal broadcasting and played their video. So let's have a watch. <laughs> Now I've had to mute it because the soundtrack will just get me copy striked, but I think you get the idea. The masked man calls on fellow Iranians to rise up against the government. It also features images of Iran's supreme leader burning, as well as a clip of a well-known Iranian rights activist ripping off her hijab. And of course, I can't really say much about the politics of this message, as this isn't a Middle Eastern politics channel, thank God for that. But what I can say is that this will have been supremely embarrassing for Iran's supreme leader. And to add insult to injury, the video was repeated every so often for a few hours until the company behind the stream, Telewibion, finally managed to regain control of their systems. They did eventually acknowledge the hack, if you can even call it an acknowledgement, tweeting that despite widespread cyber attacks, Telewibion hosted more than 4 million users and, and so on. They basically just refused to take the L, which is funny because this is the second time in recent weeks that Iranian TV has been hijacked by hacktivists. Just a few days prior, the regime's TV channel was completely taken over. Only for a few seconds though, this time the broadcaster actually managed to wrestle away control from the intruders pretty quickly. But as for the group behind the attacks, responsibility has been widely attributed to the Adalat Ali hacktivist group, which is responsible for a lot more than just this one operation. They were also behind the hacking of the CCTV of an Iranian prison. Not only did they expose the apparent abuse of prisoners, which I of course can't show on the YouTubes, but they also, and this next bit has really strong Mr. Robot vibes, when they had exfiltrated what they needed from the prison's network, they took over the CCTV feeds. And take a look at this. So a prison guard is keeping tabs on those CCTV feeds until they start flashing and then display anti-regime messages. Then, instead of trying to frantically respond to the hack, other prison staff come over and just start taking photos, as you do. This hacktivist group first made their debut in 2018 when they hacked departure screens in an Iranian airport and displayed similar anti-regime messages. And by the way, these kinds of stories almost never make mainstream news. Probably the only way you're ever going to hear about these shenanigans is through this channel, so make sure you scroll down right now and hit that subscribe button. And the bell icon, of course. Next up, and this story is almost as insane as the previous one, Script Kiddies have been trying to get activists jailed by planting false evidence of assassination plots on their computers. This story caught my eye because despite these hackers being incredibly basic and amateurish, they have been rather successful. And on top of that, this group seems to be government sponsored, allegedly, of course. This all comes from a report recently published by Sentinel Labs. Almost everything from here on out is according to them. So let's dive in. The group of miscreants has been dubbed Modified Elephant. They've been operating for over a decade, but have gone largely under the radar because they only target a handful of victims on the Indian subcontinent. Victims include activists, human rights defenders, journalists, and so on. Their objective being long-term surveillance before planting evidence on their computers, leading to conveniently coordinated arrests. One such activist, Rona Wilson, had plans for a literal assassination attempt against Indian Prime Minister Modi placed on his PC. He was then arrested and charged with terrorism. But how does Modified Elephant conduct their operations? Well, they seem to be script kiddies in the finest sense. They typically send spear phishing emails laced with malware which is disguised using double extensions. Think .pdf.exe, not the world's greatest disguise. And in some cases, they'll even forgo the .pdf part and just use really long file names for their malware, presumably in the hopes that victims, I don't know, fall asleep halfway through reading it? All whilst relying on low-quality one-liner email bodies, of course. As for the malware itself, Modified Elephant has been known to utilize dark comets. 
It's an off-the-shelf rat, which is widely available and has often been the go-to choice for script kiddies. In fact, way back in my Minecraft server hosting days, back when under-30s used Skype, an ancient era, Dark Comet was the standard tool kids would use to mess with each other. It comes with dumb features like a musical keyboard which outputs straight to the victim's speakers so you can oppress people with your awful musical abilities. There's even a whole section called Fun Functions. Of course, it can do more useful things, but for the most part, it is the script kiddie's weapon of choice. In fact, it gets worse. This group uses a software keylogger which looks like it's been made using copied Visual Basic code posted on an Italian hacking forum way back in 2012. But Modified Elephant has evolved through the years, upgrading to using emails containing Microsoft Word documents, which of course contain malicious macros. In one interesting case, the group was observed trying to evade antivirus software by using really large files, exploiting the fact that some anti-malware solutions will ignore files over a certain size because they just take too long to scan. So by using executables over 300 megabytes in size, they could slip under the radar. But cleverly, most of the file would just consist of the same bytes repeated over and over, so they could compress it into a relatively small raw archive which wouldn't take ages to download. Also, it doesn't look like our hackers were much concerned with trying to stay quiet. Forensics shows that in one case, they planted the same evidence on two different people within 15 minutes of each other. And to make matters worse, they are quite the impatient bunch. In specific attacks, the actor would be particularly persistent and attempt to compromise the same individuals multiple times in a single day. Whilst this is all very funny, hilarious in fact, this group has seen success. Two of the people apparently targeted are currently in jail awaiting trial. It should be noted though that they are on trial for other things as well as the apparent assassination plots, but their other charges are out of the scope of this video. As for figuring out who's behind Modified Elephant, Sentinel Labs calls that an interesting challenge. They add Modified Elephant activity aligns sharply with Indian state interests and point out the odd coincidence of people being arrested right after the evidence is planted. If you want to go down a rabbit hole, I'll have the full research paper on this story linked in the description. This video was made possible by PlexTrack, the cybersecurity reporting and workflow management platform that empowers continuous assessment and effective collaboration between teams to ensure you win the right security battles. Create assessment reports in half the time and collaborate throughout the remediation lifecycle. Centralize your remediation efforts across all scans, assessments, and audits with powerful risk visualizations, scanner and ticketing integrations, and enhanced analytics. Communicate risks clearly across your team and in real time, working more efficiently and effectively with PlexTrack. You can claim your free month of the PlexTrack platform exclusively for Satonic viewers using the link in the video description. As always, thanks for watching. You know what to do. Tick off that notification bell and follow me on the Instagrams for behind the scenes content. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.